Welcome to Click Connect. I'm your host, Craig Sullivan. It is my great pleasure to welcome Mr. Robert Lowe, Executive Vice President and Head of Commercial Banking for East West Bank. Brother Robert, how are you? Good, good. How are you, Craig? Great. It's good to see you. Thank you for making the time to join us today. Um, Robert, I wanted to talk about, you know, everything's just been on fire for months. COVID-19 has decimated lives, businesses. Everything's been been just horrible. Um, you know, and, and you're, you're my favorite lender. You're the best hotel lender out there. You know California, you know hotels, you know restaurants, you know um, sports and entertainment venues and everything else that's out there. But let's focus on the hotels, the restaurant, and retail today. What, what are you doing to help your clients right now? Well, you know, Craig, I think you, it's really been a tough year, as you, as you well know. And uh, our clients, many of them are suffering. And I think uh, I'm not going to comment on the on, on, you know, on the governor's issues or anything like that. But, right. you know, I think that the bottom line is our customers are really suffering and we really feel that. Um, I think, you know, one thing that I've learned over time is that, uh, you know, things I thought that were bulletproof, uh, I've been surprised. And I guess we've learned that, you know, diversification is really the key. But I think in terms of like, uh, you know, helping our clients, what are we doing? You know, we're really trying to get to understand and get down to the nitty gritty of really what's happening with them. Are they doing what's, you know, what's their client base look like? Do they have contracts with the city? For example, if it's a hotel, the restaurants, are they closed? Are they not closed? How are they surviving? And what can the we as a bank do to help? I think one of the things that's important is just to make sure that, you know, they have open disclosure with their uh, with their banker. It's really important that they work hand in hand. We know everything that's going on because it's not like we want, you know, we want their success. We're kind of like in it together. And, and you know, this thing is not, unfortunately, this COVID thing is not something that anything, anything that they did wrong. We didn't do anything wrong either. And we want to help as much as we can. But the more information we know, I think the better it can really help them um, navigate this, you know, this, this pandemic. I, I couldn't agree with you. And, you know, you are a partner. Now, you, your hands are tied because of regulatory items. But, you know, I don't know anybody that's better at underwriting a hotel than you are, whether it's a ground up or repositioning. Um, you and I spent a lot of time at the feet of the master, Tushar Patel. And, you know, we saw a lot of humanity there. We also saw how to negotiate contracts. We got an in-depth education on ground leases too. Uh, but, you know, and, and I couldn't agree with you more. And full disclosure, um, Robert and East West Bank are a founding sponsor of the California Lodging Investment Conference and East West Bank also does my corporate banking. So, um, you know, and I, and I think, you know, and, and you, you're... Your group, your commercial real estate group and your residential real estate group are are absolutely outstanding and a pleasure to work with. Um, I know that, you know, early on there was a barrage of phone calls for forbearance and you guys were just at the forefront to help and, and still are. Um, what are you seeing out there for, and let's, let's talk retail for a second, let's talk restaurant because most of the time, you don't have the real estate attached to that. It's 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 a lease scenario, so you know it, it's got to be more than the FF and E. It both that you know you're securing. So you've got other real estate. Are you able to put those things into a forbearance? Are you able to work with them even more, even though some of these guys aren't being able to make you know their lease payments? I think it all depends. Um, you know, there are certain. Uh, situations unfortunately where the restaurants and or and or the retailers are not paying and we do try to work with our borrowers i mean it's again it's the covid thing is not something that anyone it's not anyone's fault but the bank the, the you know the regulators only give us so much room to maneuver but during those kinds of situations can we uh we can we do try uh, there are many customers that we've had for a long time and i think the you know one of the things i you know that i've always um, spoken about during the click conferences 
the importance of just being transparent to your lender and making sure that they understand the full picture. And, and I think the more that they do that, the more that the trust is built between you know, the bank as well as a client. And the more that that happens, the more that the bank, I think, is going to be understanding your situation, being willing to work with you. But on the other hand, if you are or if a client um, decides to, you know, kind of withhold some cards or they're trying to play a little bit of game, then there's no trust. And then, you know, we have to do what we have to do. I mean, we have a business yeah. to run just like you. But I think, you know, during this time, the regulators have allowed us to have some flexibility and we take as much flexibility as we can, as much as I can get approved internally to work with our clients and help them because we want, I mean, it doesn't hurt anyone. I mean, it doesn't help anyone to play hard, to play hardball. We right. just want to help them get, get through because we all, we just, we need time. This is a situation that, you know, the, we need time to heal. The, right. the, the nation needs time to heal. We need at least, you know, at least six months until Moderna, Pfizer and the other Astra and uh, Zeneca can get their things, their, their products out there. Yeah, I agree with you on that. And, you know, uh, hopefully that happens in, in that, in that time frame, And, you know, that is pushing things out. So as a lender, are you going to be able to to take this even farther to help your your clients? I mean, are there loan modifications, extensions? Is is everything on the table right now? You know, let's you know, you've got a long term relationship, you know, with a borrower. You you're not only doing the accounts for the hotel. You've got the real estate loan. You've known them. They've got money in the bank. They have been very transparent. They've told you about everything. Because with your unique perspective, I know you bring things to the table to give them something else to look at that could possibly help save them some money and cut costs without having to sacrifice a team member uh, necessarily. So what, what's on the table Well, right I think, now? you know, it's a good question. Um, I think everything's on the table from the standpoint of, you know, sometimes it's security deposits that's what uh, you know the, the tenants will do and they'll just i mean our bars are using tenant deposits to kind of get by yeah. sometimes it's you know it's everyone has an arsenal of of things that you try and think through you know in terms of priority what things do you really need to pay what things are more of a nice to pay and for us as a lender we try and understand those as well and as long as that methodology kind of aligns with what we're thinking as well and as long as we see light at the end of the tunnel we want to give the runway to allow the clients to, to make it through. Because this, unfortunately, is a, you know, we, I've, I, spit, I said it so many times, this is a very horrible situation that we're all in and we need to get through it together. Absolutely. Robert, we're at the end of our time. How It's time for you to give everybody a shameless plug. How can they get a hold of you? Well, I, you can call me directly at my, my phone number, air code 626-768-6689 or my cell number, which I think my, my office number translates to my cell number. Obviously, the email address robert.lo, L-O, at eastwestbank.com. We're happy to try and help and give advice as much as we can. Thank you so much, Craig. Always a pleasure. Thank you, my brother. I really appreciate it. It has been a great pleasure to have Robert on the show today. I'm looking forward to your next visit. And also, for everybody out there, thank you for joining us. Let's do each other a favor. Be kind. Share your knowledge. Now go out there and be amazing. <laughs>